everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am not filming in my office today because Dan is taking an online class, so he's got the office. I tried to make a makeshift little setup here, so I hope it's okay. I am so excited to bring you today's video because we are gonna be unboxing and swatching the Olive and June Spring 2021 collection. I have been using and trying so many different polishes lately that I didn't even realize how much I missed Olive and June until this arrived. So without further ado, let's dive right into this box. I've said it once, I'll say it again, and I think I say that in every single Olive and June video. Like, I've said it once and I'll say it again. They have the best packaging, so when you open the box, it says, welcome to your best nail life. And honestly, they're not lying. Olive and June truly has given me my best nail life. Their products are really just unmatched. So they always include some literature in their boxes, a little DIY for your best nails ever. They're a very helpful guide for doing the perfect DIY mani at home, um, and everything that you need to do that is right in this box. Oh my God, this is so cute. I want to make this the background of my computer. Wish you were here. Show us your paradise. Our spring collection is all about the dreamy and bright vacation of your dreams. Paint it, spill it, get creative, have fun. We can't wait to see what you create. Don't forget to tag us. So here's all the colors, but I'm going to show you them right now, fresh out of the box. On top, we have a small box, which I'm assuming has all the polishes in it. Let's open them up and go one by one. Oh, so beautiful. When I saw them debut this collection online, like every other collection that they put out, I was kind of like, where are they going with this? Their curation of colors and shades in each seasonal collection is so unique to me. It's on a completely different level. You cannot even put them on the same playing field as other lines. Typical for a spring line, these are very bright, these are fun, we've got some pastels mixed in, but I still find this combination of colors to really be one of a kind. I'm gonna start with the lightest and work my way up. The first is Angelfish. This is a pale blue pastel and it's actually what is on my nails right now but I'm also gonna insert a swatch. I am wearing two coats here. I think two coats wears just right. It's kind of like an icy winter blue. So you can really see, oh, it's stunning. I absolutely love this color. If you are a white nail polish girl and you're looking to substitute your normal white for something that's a little more fun, this is a great way to go. I didn't really wanna start with my favorite, but I have to say, I think that Angelfish is probably my favorite from this entire collection. Next up, we have Pink Sands. This is described as a sun bleached pink, and I think that's honestly the perfect way to describe it. In the swatch here, I am wearing two coats. Um, I found two coats to be a tiny bit streaky. I think three would be absolutely perfect. Perfect. Um, you can get away with two, but for some reason this particular polish just was calling me for a third, but this is just the most gorgeous light pink. Sun bleach, again, is a great way to put it. I know many of us come from the SE Fiji era, and this really rivals that in a great way. Honestly, I think I like it better because I kind of prefer Olive and June brushes and formulas, but this is a beautiful staple to have, not just for spring, but for summer as well. I mean, it's truly a year-round color, but it's a great spring shade to have on hand. Next up is Cockatoo. This is a glowy lavender. It's very similar to the Pink Sands, um, but not on the nails. It looks very different on the nails. It has a little bit of that mauve to it, a little bit of that purple undertone. I found that two coats of this wore just right, no streaks whatsoever. Beautiful spring summer shade, just light and bright. Ah, oh, look at that. That is like spring in a bottle right there. All right, next up, we've kind of tapped out all of the lighter shades and now we're moving into the bright, bold, fun colors. This one is Wild Orchid. And to me, this is just like the most fun, bright, tropical color. It's like a rich magenta fuchsia shade. This is definitely one of those go-to polishes that you're gonna wear over and over again throughout the spring and summer. Two coats of it, again, wore just right. I don't see a need for an additional coat. It's just. Very, very fun. All right, while we are in the tropical realm, we're gonna go a little more red-orange now. This is hibiscus. It is described as a tropical pink, but I really see a little bit more orange in it. It reminds me a lot of OPI's My Chihuahua Doesn't Bite. Again, two coats is just perfect. This is one of those vacation colors. Like the next time you take a tropical trip, this is what you're gonna wanna wear if you're attending a summer wedding. Great option. I love how fun this is. I love that they brought the bright color to this collection. Okay, and then last but certainly not least is maybe my second favorite color in this collection and that is lava. It is just a bright, fiery orange. Olive and June describes it as a spicy orange red and that's honestly exactly what it is. If you're looking for something seasonal but a little out of the box, a little more fun, a little more edgy, this is the color you're gonna wanna go with. 
I love that they included the orange in the collection. For me, this is like the standout color. This is kind of the shade that doesn't seem to mix with the rest of them. But as a whole, each shade in this collection really does complement the others. All right, so that is it for the polishes. Six beautiful, beautiful spring shades. I cannot wait to make my way through all of them. We have been getting a ton of snow here in Connecticut, and I just haven't felt like tapping into the pinks just yet, so I had to go with this blue. This is like, I said it before, it's like a beautiful snowy ice blue, but it also really does lend well to the warmer seasons. I love the versatility in this polish. Such a fun shade. I actually really love it on my nails right now. It is such a fun and beautiful blue. All right, moving on. Oh, I am so excited about this. They included a pack of their nail art stickers. I haven't used any of these yet, but these are cute. It's a total under the sea tropical vibe. We have fish, we have birds, we have palm trees and flowers, snorkel gear, volcanoes. Oh my gosh, so cute. Here's a close up. <clears throat> Hope you can see those, how adorable. So to use these for best results, it says to apply to completely dry polish, press sticker edges down firmly to prevent curling. I can't wait to use these. Paul of June, come on guys, knock it off, stop. You're embarrassing the rest of the nail polish brand. You guys are good. I feel so like dark and dreary for this collection, but I am so, so pale. My hair is due for a wash tomorrow. That's why it's like all pulled back and I have like dark brown on. I feel like I should have worn a more colorful set, but next time we'll let the polish do the speaking. Okay, now it is time for the entree, the main course. <sighs> the Manny box. They really just do a fabulous job with their packaging. I love the material of their boxes. They're so well made. I try to keep and repurpose all of them. This is like my favorite part. Okay, so we open it up. All of your Manny. Again, beautiful nails for everyone. And then under here is the necessities. So let's go through the box. We have another little tub of their nail polish remover. I'll be honest, I don't know if I've said this before in other videos, but I've never been a huge fan of nail polish remover pods. I just find that they're really sloppy, especially when I use them with dark colors. But for some reason, I found myself reaching for the Olive and June remover pod quite a few times lately, and they work incredible. They work so well. I don't notice any transfer. Polish just disappears in here. I don't know where it goes, I don't know what it does, but it doesn't hang around. So these are great to have. Oh my God, again, stop, what? These are so cute. This dolphin looks like it matches my nails perfectly on camera, but it's a little more green in person. How cute, a little dolphin sticker. Is this the cockatoo, cockatoo? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to paint my nails and put these next to them. How fun. Like, am I gonna become one of those people that like put stickers on their laptop? I might be. Okay, and then we have the infamous Manny bag with all of the essentials. This is like, every girl needs one of these in their life. Like literally everything you could possibly need to get the perfect nails at home is right in here. First up, the top coat. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Olive and June, you are keeping your secrets very tight lipped, but your top coat is like, Top notch. This is a top notch top coat. I will use this on top of all of my manicures, no matter what polish I'm using, because something about this formula is just the best. It has this like thick, glossy, almost rubbery finish until it completely dries, and then it just lasts. Like my nails will last forever with this top coat. Paired with an Olive and June polish, it's like on another level, they'll last forever. They will last until you die. I love to have this on hand. Their file, I do find their files to be kind of gritty. They're great for shaping the nails, but not totally for smoothing them. I don't know, I, I prefer to use my glass file for that, but when I'm trying to reshape my nails, I reach for this file instantly. If you're trying to go from square to round or round to square, this is a great one to have. Plus it's adorable. Nail clipper, buffing cube. I try not to buff my nails too often, but when I do, this is a great cube to have. It really just helps smooth and even out the surface so that you can get that perfect at-home manicure. Their cuticle serum with cactus flower. This is great to just apply after your mani to kind of rehydrate those cuticles and make your nails look salon perfect. Oh, uh, the shining star, their cleanup brush. I'm telling you, and I have said this before, Olive and June has turned me into a cleanup brush girl. Like I never really used them. I kind of just did my best to clean up my manicures as I painted them. And then afterwards, once they dry, I just pick off the polish or it would come off in the shower. I never made much of an effort to clean up, but their brush, it'll change your mind. It'll completely change your mind. As you're painting your nails or right after, I prefer to do it after, dip the cleanup brush into the remover pod and then use it to remove any polish that got on the skin or flooded the nail bed. This is a great, great, great little guy to have. All right, and then the very last, the poppy. This is such a beautiful peach poppy. 
like a peaches and cream poppy. I love it. It makes me want a cocktail, like a frozen drink. This set is everything and more. Oh my gosh, Olive and June, you knocked it out of the park. You guys never, ever, ever disappoint. I feel so bad coming on here and singing your praises every season because I cannot tell you how many people end up purchasing these sets and then tell me that they've become like Olive and June addicts. I don't want to contribute to anyone becoming an addict of any sort, but if you're going to be one, this is where you want to be. This is the club to join. I'm telling you, your manicures will likely never be the same. Excellent job with this collection, guys. Excellent job with this packaging. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I will 1000% be using all of these colors in the coming months and sharing them on my Insta. If you guys aren't following me, you can check me out on Insta at underscore Amanda Bella. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. We talk a lot about nails over here. Um, and leave me a comment below letting me know if you have gotten the spring collection from Olive and June yet and which color is your favorite. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Ah!